you're about to learn everything I learned in my cybersecurity degree. Well, the stuff that I remember anyways, because I pretty much forgot it all. But what I do remember is probably the most important parts anyways. And because I'm amazing at documentation and backups, I found all the stuff I did. So let's begin. It was June 2010. I just graduated with honors from my high school, having taken AP Calculus, AP Physics, AP Stats, and being the valedictorian, this friend, I was ready to conquer the world with that fresh, unearned confidence high schoolers have. Unlike all my friends who were going to immediately into a four-year university, I had a brain, so I didn't apply to any because I wasn't about to take out $100,000 in student loans, especially when I still didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. All I knew for sure is that I wanted Gladiator and WoW. So that's what I did for two years, working at Target by day, Warrior Azeroth by night. Those were the days. The wild west of MMORPGs. Razor Mouse in one hand, Mountain Dew Game Fuel in the other. Not a care in the world. But I had to grow up sometime. 2012. So like anyone should do if they're looking to avoid student loans, I started a transfer degree from the nearest community college. If you've been to college, then none of these filler classes should come as a surprise to you. English. History. Math. English. Philosophy. Math. English speaking. Chemistry. Math. Are you seeing a pattern here? Math. But really, filler classes. All I remember from these nine classes is math was getting infinitely harder. I really hated writing and logic is illogical. Little did I know that my logic class's introduction to false positives was going to take up 99% of my time at my future job. You'll notice here that my grades start to hit a brick. I got a C in small group communication, maybe because I hate communicating with people, but probably because WoW's fourth expansion hit right at the start of the quarter, September 25th. But as all of you know, C's get degrees. 2013. Hard math, physics, and marriage and family. Whatever the fuck that was. I remember at the very least it was a waste of my time. This pleasant W you'll see is when I had a complete bitch of a teacher who went out of her way to make class miserable. So I had to withdraw. Finally, after 12 filler classes, which some of you would foolishly argue are important for expanding one's mind, I took a class somewhat related to cybersecurity, which at the time I had no clue was even a thing as I was planning on becoming a software engineer and help code and patch WoW. CS140 taught me that I hate coding and how to print F and C. <laughs> That's all I remember. The teacher was so old and made the class so boring, I actually stopped showing up to class halfway through. I'm almost positive that I didn't do the final. I literally Really don't remember doing it. I think the teacher didn't want to lose his job by failing everyone, so he gave most people a C minus, which is passing. I of course paired this class with math, math, and psychology, which I kind of enjoyed because all the tests were open note and open book. I still remember the look on this one guy's face when I said I got an A after not studying at all, as if that was difficult to do. After taking my first CS class, I realized coding was not for me, and so I took another year off to figure things out. It was during this year that I met my now wife. I started working for her parents, moving company, and as I got jacked moving pianos and Ikea dressers that broke the second you touch them, the fire was reawakened in me. And I realized it was time to go back to college or work dead-end jobs for the rest of my life. I eased back into college with filler classes, again, thinking I'd take another stab at computer science. Art, mythology, and I retook physics, making sure not to get the same teacher <laughs> as before, which worked because I passed the class with an American A. 2015, took another communication class. Clearly I didn't learn my lesson the first time, but after working customer service at Target for a year, I learned how to properly communicate with people. The trick was to pretend that you care. I retook the math class I withdrew from before and then withdrew from physics because I couldn't handle doing physics and calculus while having a screaming four month baby at home. Honestly, if I recall, I was just being lazy and was playing too much WoW. But I persisted and with one more English filler class, I finally satisfied the ritual set forth by the community college overlords and was granted my transfer associate's degree. Just as stupid as ever, but with two communication classes under my belt, I confidently walked into my junior year, finally ready to learn some coding. I took Chem 2 because I still needed to finish a science series, and rate my professor showed chemistry teachers were way easier to pass than physics teachers. Linear Algebra, which was part of the CS degree, and you guessed it, math. Fuck 
multivariable calc and geometry 2, or more commonly referred to as calc 4. My arrogant ass thought I could minor in math because I've always been good at it. Halfway through the quarter, I realized I wasn't going to be able to pass both math classes, and it was too late to withdraw from either of them, according to my professor who taught both classes, so I picked the one I needed for my degree, and I got a D. Plus, meaning I would have to retake the class because I couldn't schmooze the teacher enough to get a C-. In hindsight, I probably should have taken more communication classes. I now had a 1.5 GPA after my first quarter at the university, and I was issued an academic warning. 2016, chem, filler economics class, and a math class that was part of the CS degree, and I found myself with a GPA still under the minimum 2.5 needed to be a student there. I still have only taken one coding class in a computer science four-year degree. I think my mind was expanded enough by that point. Finally, a coding class, computer programming and linear data structures, and a filler class. Don't remember anything about the CS class, honestly. I do remember sitting next to very loud and annoying people though. And I got a D, retaking linear algebra. No, it's not that hard. I just couldn't be bothered to do the homework. That was worth a decent chunk of my grade. And honestly, I was feeling right back where I was mentally when I took my first programming class. I felt like computer science still wasn't for me. I had absolutely no interest in the assignments. And if you're not interested in coding, then building on the basics is like pulling teeth. It's miserable. As you can see, I was dropped due to academic rules. 11 quarters of mostly filler classes later and four years later, I was kicked out of the university. Now you might think I'd be real depressed at this point, but Legion was just about to be released, so I played. And I played for over a year. Until in 2017, I found my calling. Cyber security. It was like computer science, but with almost no coding. The perfect career for me. I could spend all my time on a computer and not have to troubleshoot why my code doesn't work. So I ran, ran to my community college where I had to do another associate's transfer degree, but this time I could skip all the filler classes. I started back up with Computer Operating Systems 1, which is where I learned about all things Windows, like Task Manager, and a lot of which the A plus certificate covers. I was learning about how the Windows operating systems worked and not how it was coded. I was loving it. I felt like everything made sense. I almost enjoyed doing the assignments and my grades reflected it. My first quarter, I had all A's. Also had two filler classes, but only because CAS 105 was a prerequisite to all the other classes that I needed and I needed 12 plus credits to obtain full financial aid. And I wanted to get more ripped. 2018, after Windows Computer Basics, I had open source operating systems, which was 100% Linux. We learned Linux commands, how it worked, how the kernel worked compared to Windows operating system. Virtualization, where we learned about VMware, VirtualBox, and hypervisors in general. And of course, Cisco Networking One which is probably the most fun I've ever had in a college class to date. The Cisco series was the goat of my cybersecurity degree. We learned about Cisco's proprietary configuration language, general network protocols, and did labs two times a week with actual routers and switches. Basically, the Cisco labs were the professor drew a network on the board with the required configurations, and we had to make it with real equipment. Once we were done and all network checks were passed, we could leave for the day. The labs are probably why networking stuck with me as well as it did. My following quarter, I took intro to computer security, which is my first real taste of Metasploit, Google dorking, and we finally were introduced to Microsoft's inglorious spawn, affectionately referred to as Windows Swiss Cheese XP. We broke up that operating system faster than Leonardo DiCaprio when his girlfriend turns 25. Following my spring quarter, I had to take a summer class at the university I was dismissed from to allow me to start as a junior in the following year in the spring. If I didn't take this one class in the summer, I, I kid you not, would be set back an entire year because it was a prerequisite for a lot of the other classes and was only offered during certain quarters. I had to find a way to pay the $2,500 cost of the class since I had lost financial aid when I was academically dismissed, which was hard to find because I just had my second kid in March. So money was tight. The summer class I needed to take was none other than formal languages and functional programming, otherwise known as discrete math. Now, I wasn't the same idiotic student I was before, shirking on my homework and refusing to study for tests. I was Ukraine ape, gladiator of Azeroth. Battle for Azeroth came during finals week, but by that time, WoW had lost its luster, but I was not as obsessed as I had been in the past. There was hope for me yet. I managed to get a B when it was my only class. Class went over logic structures, equations, and formulas, 
and the labs were done in Dr. Racket, a compiler for racket languages, which I've never touched since. This is probably the worst class I've ever had to take and weeds out all the dedicated students from the rest. Fall 2018 to winter 2019. I finished up my last two quarters at the community college with Cisco Networking 3 and 4. Here's my final for Cisco 4. Impressive, right? Industrial control systems, where we learned SCADA, programmable logic controllers, and how poorly our industrial system is protected. A pipeline exploded in our area due to how poorly managed the pipeline industrial control system was. It's gotten better, but it's still scary how exposed systems are to this day. Network Security 2, which had ACLs, access control lists, and was pretty much a firewall heavy class. And of course, Computer Operating Systems 2, which taught us all about Windows servers. Here's my take home final for that class. Active Directory, clusters, you know, server stuff. Spring 2019. I got my associates in computer information systems and was back at the university. I petitioned to get back in, they let me in, and going into spring 2019, as a junior was weird. <laughs> no one else had gone down this weird ass path that I did and everyone in my spring classes knew each other from going through two years at the community college together. I had database structures, which was all SQL. I learned how the database was structured, go figure. How to create queries, but most importantly, how queries can be abused, which as you know, SQL injections are a buzzword in cyber. I also took computer security class that covered security policies, cryptography, and security threats. A big picture concepts that I actually don't remember all that well. We had an assignment on open source intelligence, which was a bit eye-opening. The amount of personal information that people allow to be accessible on the internet is kind of hilarious. Another assignment on exploitation of PHP scripts, with the fix to a lot of these vulnerabilities being input sanitization. We even learned about RSA encryption. All my cyber classes were just spitting mad knowledge. I could feel the power of a hacker flowing through me. And of course, college wouldn't be complete without a required filler class. Technical writing, where I wrote essays and emails using templates. Real useful stuff. Fall 2019. This left me with one more year till graduation. My senior year. Nine years after graduating high school, the finish line was in sight. Computer Systems 1, which was C coding labs, machine code, processor architecture, ARM, pipelining, memory. This was a fucking beefy class. Governance class that taught us about cyber law. Kind of interesting, actually. Opened my eyes a bit into laws I should know, like GDPR, NIST, and other regulatory bodies. Discussed controversial business practices like BYOD or bring your own device, risk assessments, auditing, you know, real big picture stuff. I also started our senior capstone project which was building a honeypot with a student website interface. This was just meetups once a week to discuss the progress of the project. I was joined in a group with a guy who worked for the university doing Ansible, Kubernetes, and Docker work. If I was being honest, he kind of carried the team and made it seem like we actually did a lick of work the entire year. And a business communication filler class. I learned nothing except being careful on how you phrase things in business emails. Winter 2020. Halfway through winter quarter, COVID started to become a thing. Things were getting scary and the gym was being sanitized by this weird air steam sanitization wand regularly. I had operating system concepts, which more or less just went over how memory and computers work and can be exploited. We got real deep into the weeds on how memory is accessed and processes are handled on a computer. Threads, paging, stuff I had no hope of remembering. Advanced network security, which if I I recall correctly was about identifying malware on a network or anomalous activity. We had access to an elk stack and had assignments to pick out network logs in a Kibana interface that could be potentially out of the ordinary. These were actual logs sourced from a few government locations. A cyber ethics class that taught us how cyber crime is being handled these days. Case studies and the direction and all of it's headed. Big picture stuff. I wrote an essay on Russian cyber crime. 10 out of 10. Amazing. And of course another senior capstone check in class. Look at all the things that I did. I did not do those things. Spring 2020. My last quarter in the program. COVID had hit critical mass. <laughs> Lockdowns, mask mandates, absolute sheer panic. New Jersey today becoming the sixth state to close all non-essential businesses, joining California, New York, Illinois, Pennsylvania, and Nevada. More than 80 million Americans now told to stay at home. All my classes were switched to remote. If you think you'll retain any information watching from your computer instead of going to class, you're wrong. I retained nothing. <laughs> I had a secure software development class that went over threat modeling, security testing, code review, common software vulnerabilities, software development life cycles, the real meaty big picture stuff that I loosely remember as test and fix code often. Usable security and privacy, which I had not even the faintest clue 
what we talked about in that class. <laughs> Looking back at my documents, I think it was analyzing security and privacy policies and why they exist. It seemed like I did a lot of writing. An augmented reality class that I took mostly out of the need for credits to apply towards the minimum 180 to graduate. This was a lot of writing and presentations on certain articles the professor had us read. Kind of a news and journalism class with emphasis on AI. Made me painfully aware of how crazy artificial intelligence can be if left unchecked. And who can forget the final senior project class, where we ultimately just downloaded a full made honeypot and did a presentation on what it could do. We downloaded Teapot onto our VM and made a slideshow about it. Here is the culmination of the time I spent in college. And at the end of the quarter in 2020, I was done. It took me 10 years, but I did it. A bachelor's in cybersecurity. Would I do it all again? No, I'm doing certifications. How does it feel to treat me like you do?